Hey guys, this is going to be my last guy video. This time we're going to be looking at Trinity. Uh, this is for more uh, experienced players, as with the last guides. And we're going to be looking at how to play Trinity in order to gain six Hydralis captures in one night in an Eidolon hunting squad. So we'll run over the build. This is what I like to run on my Trinity. You can alter yours however you choose, but this is what I like to run. Corrosive projection for the armor reduction. And then vitality. Transient Fortitude, just so we can get over that 150% power strength we need to max out our 75% um, damage reduction on our Bless. Continuity, just for increased duration on our Bless. Uh, natural Talent, that's personal preference as well, just so I can cast it, cast my fourth faster. Narrow Minded, again, more duration. Prime Flow, so I've got a nice energy pool and I can... Uh, I don't have to use as many pads. And then streamline and fleeting expertise, one off cap, just so I have max efficiency uh, and I'm not using too much energy. Trinity is a very energy intensive frame. You'll be using a lot of energy pads in this run. So it's important to have these on just so you're not using too much. And then my arcanes, again, personal preference. You can run whatever you feel is best, but I like to run Energize and Guardian. Energize so I don't have to use as many pads and Guardian for the durability. Um, I know Trinity has that 75% reduction, but I find that if that's run out and I'm taken off guard, uh, I often go down, so that's why I take Guardian. Um, my primary here, I'm going to use Vectus. Um, you can use whatever sniper you want, really. As long as you can one-shot the lure, uh, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. I like to run Vectus because it has a really fast reload speed, and if I'm running Rubico, as soon as I've shot my five shots, I have to wait to reload before I can shoot the next lure. So that's why I'll run Vectus. Uh, my secondary in melee, I'm not running any. That's personal preference. Uh, I don't run melee because it helps me get off Arcwing without wasting Void Strike stacks. I can just press E and hop off. And we're a VS player, so we're gonna be running Madurai, Void Strike, and a Meteoric Dash. Got everything unbound here. So yeah, that's our focus tree, and then as our pet, we're going to be running our Sahasa again, just for dig, give us some extra energy. And then on our Arcwing here, usual build, durability with range, efficiency, and speed. Uh, strength doesn't matter, I've just got it in because it fits the polarity. And finally, on our operator, we're running Magus Elevator and Magus Vigor. Again, personal preference, you can run whatever you choose. Uh, I like Magus Elevator and Magus Vigor just for the durability. And Virtuous Shadow for our increased amp damage. X27 amp, this is your choice as well. You can run a proper if you want. I prefer X27 rather than X77, so that's down to you. Um, but that's our build. Uh, I'll jump straight into the run and explain what's going on. Okay, guys, so just waiting in the planes here for night start. Sirens going off. Uh, we're just charging our Void Strike stacks. You can see we're up to about 60 here. We're Trinity, so we're going to be firing first. Uh, before we get over to the Terrorist, though, what we're going to do is we're going to pick us up a early lure. And then head straight over. Uh, for this run, I believe I only managed to take down three of the shields because of a problem I have in Arcwing. But since it's first run and everyone's going to have a load of stacks, you can take out all four of the shields of Trinity and then you can go and collect the rest of your lures. You don't have to worry about charging VS on first run since everyone else is going to have really high stacks and they'll take turns so you can last right to the end. I'm hearing the music in the background too so <laughs> and I'm hearing you and I'm hearing everything now. So we're just waiting now for the chroma to mark the terrorist at which point we are going to dash off get ourselves a lure and then head straight to him. So he's got the wisps, uh, the vomvolus, sorry, and then we're going to go and grab this lure at the top of the lake since it's quite close by. 
Dismount. Proc our Virtuous Shadow by uh, head dashing. Grab ourselves a Wisp. Take the shield down and then let the Chroma oh, take shit, out the there wasn't one shot. Okay. Whoops. Now we'll hold our lure for the Chroma to I take. Was so fucking sure was gonna die we just need one more uh, lure for the Chroma here. So we're going to try and get it after this limb. I'm a bit slow on this, but I still make it back in time. So we're taking that down. We're now going to go and grab ourselves a lure. <laughs> yeah, you. Easy kill, man. As you can see, uh, I'm right running out of energy. Oh, I didn't notice, so make sure your energy's up. Actually, I got it, don't worry. That's fine, I know already. It's important to make sure that when you're coming back from a run like that and you enter the energy spike, make sure you're not in your arc wing still because you will go down. Come out of your arc wing before you enter the spike and then go into your operator and dash through it. It's the easiest way to do it. And we've got our lures. So now we're going to go and collect our lures. Uh, we need five since we've given the chroma three. And we're just going to park above them, hit our two on its al, and then shoot the lure and blink next to it. Then we'll press X to hack, and then Y to fast hack the lure with our ciphers. You need to have 42 ciphers minimum for each run. Since we're doing a six cap, that's going to be six lots of seven lures that we're going to be hacking. Um, you learn the camps over time. I'm not going to put a map in or anything of where the camps are generally speaking wherever there's lights and grenier on the ground there's going to be a lure i can include a map in the in the uh, comment section description section if you want um but it's something you learn over time where you want to find them i'm not the best at finding them i don't claim to be the best trinity player but you get used to it over time so we've just come back now uh and we're going to clean up uh, so all of the we clean up all the Monvolists that were left under the Terrorist after the Chroma left. So no matter what, you, you put them. Uh, we're going to get our lures out of the way of the Shrine here. So we can place our Shard in. And then we're going to dash. We can fire a few shots on first run, it doesn't matter. Just to help out, just in case their shot doesn't one-shot it. And now, since we don't need to fire, we're going to just hover around the Gantzler list here and try and find charges as you can see we've got some bomb list here the chroma has a charge lure which is anchoring the Gantzler list so we don't need to be anywhere nearby and we're not shooting so we can go and just wander around keep the lures out of the way of everyone so that they're not bothering anyone So we want to have four lures charged by the time we shoot the Gantelis in the head. That way we have at least one charged for going onto the Gantelis. The Hydralis, sorry. It's also worth noting that all this time I'm charging up my VS just so that the Hydralis is going to be really fast. I can help out the whole fight. I have no idea. I mean, she's a bonus. Oh, Rafi. Oh, she. <laughs> so we're going to get under him here. You can see some Vonvalis will spawn underneath him. It's fine. I forgot one. We've got our three lures charged. And now we're up to four. And I've got stuck. <coughs> so we're just going to have a wander around now, have a look for some uh, Vonvalists. Uh, in order to gain the max time possible in our operator mode while we're stacking Void Strike, we want to be trying to kill the Vonvalists by Void Dashing through them with Meteoric Dash. And now we've got lasers, so we're going to use our fourth, it's going to keep the lures alive. The main reason we are here is to keep the lures alive. So as soon as you see those lasers hit your fourth, it's really the only time you'll be needing to use your fourth ability is the lasers on Gantelis. No problem, we're going to come back to the shrine. On this next fight, it is important that we make it to 
actually lead to pressure. Wherever the Hydra despawns without killing ourselves. Otherwise, we won't be able to TP the lures over. And then the Hydra just will TP uh, away. So it's very important yeah, that we make it over there. That should be your first priority as Trinity to get there. Never mind getting there quickly. Just get there. So we're just going to move about a bit uh, here. Sorry, <laughs> Wait until the lures TP. The fuck was this? How did you shoot and then the we're going to hold the lures. Oh, just like in the air while I was flying there. <laughs> there you go, call on hold. Grab ourselves a wisp here, come underneath, we've got high stacks. Maximum bully. And we're gonna proc our virtual shadow by ground dashing here. There we go, we got it in the top right hand corner. If you wanna know more about uh, VS roll in terms of virtual shadow and how to do the most damage, <laughs> take a look at the vault guide, I explain it in quite a bit of detail in that video. And now we're going to play the exact same as a normal VS player. There shouldn't be any need for us to come out and use our fourth pass at this point, other than to maybe aid our allies if they need a heal. Or to keep Kubrows alive. So we've got two more le limbs left to take out. What we're going to do now is we're going to grab two of our lures and just drag them away to disconnect them so they're no longer tethered. Mark the one that we left behind and then drag the other two back so they reconnect. This way the loot from the Hydralis is going to be tethered to the ally lure and we can leave the other two lures behind. So we'll just hold these two now. And we've got the third one, the ally there following us. And we're going to take that to the gate. That way it's way easier to collect the loot at the gate and just get out fast. So we're going to go over, land on this rock right here that you can see next to the poorly placed K drive. Hold the lure by spamming X. Go into our operator. Grab the arcane and go through the gate. Useless. And now we're going to repeat the process, but this time without the pre-charge. So in this round, we're going to do it slightly differently at the start. But uh, past that point, everything's going to be exactly roughly the same. In case it's not <clears throat> so they come in. Get into operator. Dash out until we can see... There you go, we saw some bombardists there. Oh, shit, there they are. I've marked them very poorly. No, I'm just going to go over, easy. grab ourselves an early lure. Head off. Proc our virtual shadow. Grab a wisp. Enjoy your wisps. And then we're going to take down the shield. Oh. Then we're going to hold our lure for the chroma. Go and grab him another lure. You can do this whenever you want, the second one. Um, make sure you make it back in time though. I was very close there because I left it a bit late to leave. And now we're going to do one more shield here. I'm gonna have to kind of lift the wrist with this one because and after we've done that we're going to go ahead and collect the rest of our lures. So we need to collect five in total. We're going to use the same tactics as before, but we're going to stop overhead using its house 2 to hold us still, and then we're going to shoot the lure and dash to it X, Ooh, Y, and then move on. So that's two. This one's already been killed. Three. Four. 
four. And five. Yeah, and then we're gonna head back. Yeah. Nah. I shot it anyway, but I don't We're gonna know. get rid of our extra VS stacks yeah, that we have and restart at zero, so we have a full stack of eight. And we're just gonna hold back here with the lures until the Chrome has charged all three of his. Yeah. Otherwise, we won't have one uh, charged for the Gantalist, and he'll TP away, which we don't want. So we're just gonna wait for that to charge. As you can see, it's now charged, so we're going to head underneath him to collect the rest of the Vonvalis that spawn. Fuck off, Louis. See how many <laughs> extra charges we can get. This will help out when we're trying to charge. Our lures up after the Gantelis, ready for Hydralis, so that's why we're staying here for a while. And then we're going to head off to the shrine. Collect our shards, remember to stay in operator mode when you collect your shards, otherwise you won't be able to put them in the shrine in operator mode. Oh, Had to fire an extra shot there unfortunately, but it doesn't matter too much. Hold our lures to keep them out of the way. Proc our virtual shadow, grab ourselves a wisp, and come under. You don't have to hold the lures. Um, I do it just because I think they're kind of annoying when they're in the way and you're shooting, but the X27 amps do shoot through um, lures, so you don't have to worry about getting blocked. They do, however. Block proper shots, proper shots will explode on contact. But yeah, you don't have to hold them. I do it just because I think it's much easier to see without them flying all around you. I should have fired from there accident. Keep popping our virtual shadow, just a normal VS roll now. And so I'm out of stacks here since I fired an extra one at the start, but my teammates have enough to carry us through, so I'm just going to start stacking for the Hydras now. We've got lasers, so we're going to use our fourth to keep them alive. Just keep the lures out of everyone's way. And there you go, we're fully charged up. We've got four already, so that's good. It's good practice to try and get all of your lures charged before you go into the Hydralis. As on the sixth run, you're going to need all of your lures charged before you go into the Hydralis, because if you get Sunrise, you won't get any more Vonvalis spawning. And then your sixth run is dead before you even start, so it's very important to get all your lures charged before Hydralis. So I'm just void dashing up in the air here until I can see Vonvalis. And right at the end, I'm going to come underneath him just to collect whatever's left. So you can see there's three or four Bomber List spawning. We've got all our lures charged now. And we'll head straight back to the shrine. Staying in void mode as long as possible, just so we can get as many uh, void strike oh. stacks as possible. Hopefully, it's not mine. Yeah. <laughs> it's not fun, don't worry. It's worth it's noting that lures often really act really very. Really strangely in the current update of Warframe. Uh, they'll fly away from you, they'll do weird stuff, it's important to take note of where they are, make sure that they don't disconnect from the Eidolon. So let's make sure we get our lures TP'd over. I'm just going to stand back a bit, there we go. Put them on hold. And then we'll proc our Virtuous Shadow with Ground Dash and grab ourselves a Wisp. Another benefit of putting them a hold is that they are not going to just randomly fly away and disconnect. You can be pretty sure of that. If during a energy spike you find that one of your lures disconnects halfway through, even if there's another lure there to connect 
the Eidolon will still TP away if there's a dis if it disconnects during energy spike. It will TP away, so you need to make sure that you have one that's con consistently connected the whole way through the fight. I know if I was spawning there, I couldn't see. So I asked if you got there and to know if I was actually spawning there. Just keep proccing. Usual VS roll now. You should be having one now, though. Yeah. I just picked up the other ones from the other lake before. <laughs> yeah, they're actually inside the lake now, so it's going to be rough. Failed a bit there. And we're gonna just lose out on our virtuous shadow. Fortunately, everyone else had enough stacks, so we could. So we do the same as before now. Just grab our lures, drag them away. Wait until they TP, minutes, yeah, and then we can void dash back. Grab our allied lure, which we know now has the loot. <coughs> and when our other two lures start to decide not to flying away, we'll put them on hold. Make sure to keep ourselves alive here since we're on the irradiated ground. We're just going to keep tapping our fourth every now and then. And then as soon as he dies, we're going to go into our arc wing, yeah, fly over to the fine. gate. Onto that same stone we saw before. Spam X. Go into operator and then dash out. And that's it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the run. If you do have any questions, please let me know. Uh, this will be my last guide for a while, so I hope you found it informative. Thank you very much for watching. They're starting to spread like uh, fiber internet in our town, but.